hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel so recall that our previous video was on maximum and minimum value that's stationary points okay so we want to look at problems especially word problems involving these uh, maximum and minimum value so the first question we have here says let the volume of a box be given as this and so we are asked to find the value of x for which that volume uh, of that box is maximum solution so all we need to do here now is to begin by first of all uh, taking the derivative of this you recall that when we take the derivative of v with respect to x uh, that we are going to get um, a function that if we equate to zero and solve we are going to get our stationary point and among the stationary points one of it will be the maximum value okay so let's begin so when we differentiate this we are going to have 12 x squared then minus 50. that's when you differentiate this and so from there what do you do next equate this to zero okay so when we equate this to zero we first of all check if there are common terms here that we can cancel to reduce our equation and so we can divide through by 12 if so this is going to give us x squared minus if 12 divide this you will have 11x and 12 divide this you will get 18 and that's equal to zero so solving this quadratically now we are going to have please take time to do that check our video on quadratic equations to see how we got that okay so and if this is what we have now so to now get the values of our x this is going to be that our x minus 9 is equal to 0 or our x minus 2 is equal to 0 so the value of x we have is x equal to 9 or x equal to 2 so these are our stationary points and so we need to find the which one now is the maximum point remember they said we should find the max the value of x for which the volume is maximum meaning we should find the maximum point okay so now we are going to and to find the maximum point you remember what to do you just differentiate ag again so we want to differentiate that v again and to do that we are going to have d squared v all over dx squared this is going to give us uh, 24x and then minus 132. If you differentiate this, you have 132. Of course, the derivative of this is 0. And so from here, we now substitute. So if you put your x, remember the maximum value is the one that will give us negative. So if you put your x as uh, 9 here, you are going to have a value that will be definitely greater than this. In fact, when you subtract, it's going to be positive. But when you put a value, your value as 2, you will see that we are going to have 24 times 2 is 48 minus 132 will definitely be a negative number, which is less than 0. Therefore, our x equal to 2 is the maximum value. So that's the maximum point, sorry. So that's the point uh, or the value of x that will now give us the maximum value. And so let's look at the next question that we have. The next question says then that we should then calculate that maximum volume of the box, meaning we should now substitute the value of x equal to 2 into the original volume function that was given to us, which is this. Okay, and so to get that value, what are we going to have? that's our b remember that our v is equal to okay so now if you now want to get your value at x equal to 2 at x equal to 2 our v is going to be if you uh, expand all of this this is 8 8 times 4 is 32 okay so if you sum everything and subtract you are going to have the volume at maximum to be equal to 200 cm cube so we're assuming that the 
there or you can just say unit cube since we are not giving any units all right so that's the solution to the first example we have here okay so for the second example here we are asked to find the highest product of two numbers whose sum is 10 okay so this also an application of uh, maximum and minimum value and of course this is talking about maximum value also so the maximum product that you will get from uh, two numbers whose sum is going to give us 10 we begin by naming the numbers so let one of the numbers be equal to x so if one of the numbers is x so it implies then that the other number the second remember that the question says that the sum of the two numbers is 10 so if one is x that means the other one is going to be what 10 minus x and so and uh, we are asked to find their highest product okay so and um, which means the product p that we are looking for has to be of course x multiplying 10 minus x and when you take this product you are going to get 10x minus x squared okay so and since we want the highest product all we need to do is to take the, the derivative of this get the maximum point of x and then substitute it into this function and that will give us the highest product we are looking for okay so let's do that now so if we take the derivative of this with respect to x we are going to have 10 minus 2x okay so this is our derivative so if we equate that now to zero to solve for your stationary point to get the maximum this is going to give us 2x is equal to 10 of course if i take this to this side so we, which means that my x is equal to 5 okay so we need to we just have one stationary point here so we need to confirm that this stationary point is maximum and how do we do that we'll differentiate this again and substitute and know if it is going to be negative so if we differentiate this again we are going to have that d squared p all over dx squared is going to be of course this will be zero and derivative of this will be minus two and of course whatever x value you put here even if you put five here you will still get minus two and minus two is less than zero therefore this x value is maximum and so this means that our x value here is the maximum point so if you substitute it into the product you have here you are going to get the maximum product which is the highest product and that is going to give us that that product we are looking for is p equal to x now is 5 times uh, 10 minus 5 which is also 5 and that's equal to 25 and you can confirm that this is true so how do you confirm that let's let's take a list of all the uh, numbers the two numbers that when you sum you get 10 and when uh, and then check all their products so let's look at them two numbers that when you sum you will have 10 they include 1 and 9 okay so these are two numbers that when you sum you get what positive 10 and of course we are looking now for the one that will now give us the highest product okay so let's look at it of course there are other ones that will be negative if you sum them you will get po uh, positive 10 but of course when you multiply them you have a negative number negative numbers cannot be more than any of these so that's why i'm listing only these ones okay so from here if you multiply this you have 9 product of this is 16 product of this is 21 product of this is 24 and product of this is 25 so you see that the product of this gives you the highest product and that's why we have the highest product here as 25 all right and that's for example two it's asking us to find the, this time around is talking about minimum the minimum sum of two numbers whose product is 36 and so we're also going to follow the same approach so if that is the case then the second that means the second number will be what since the first is x okay so what does that mean 
and they're asking us to find the least product that's the minimum sum sorry okay so and so we're looking for sum here let's call it x so our s is going to be the addition of these two which is x plus 36 over x so which one will give us the minimum sum meaning we are looking for the minimum point the, or the minimum value of this sum and to get the minimum value of this sum we need to get the minimum point of this uh, function and so at what point is x going to be minimum so let's look for that by taking the derivative of s with respect to x and when we do that we are going to have here that this is going to give us 1 plus of course recall that this is the same thing as 36 x raised to power minus 1 okay so our minus 1 is going to come down and it will change this to negative all right and so from here now what are we going to do so we now want to now solve this by equating this to 0 so remember that that is the same thing as 1 minus 36 all over x squared and so when we now equate it to zero to find the stationary point uh, we have to multiply through by x squared and when we do that we will have x squared if x squared multiplies this minus why am i doing that so i can clear this denominator and so this is going to give me 36 here x squared times zero is also zero and so remember that this is difference of two squares so what is that going to give us that means we are going to have x plus 6 because this thing is 6 squared. Then into bracket x minus 6 all equal to 0. And so quadratically we have our factors as x is equal to negative 6 or positive 6. So we now have two stationary points here. Now we need to know which one is the minimum. Remember we are looking for minimum. And so to get the minimum we differentiate this again. And if we do that, we are going to have that d squared x all over dx squared is equal to, if you differentiate 1, you will get 0. If you differentiate the remaining, that's minus 36x squared, the minus 2 will come down. And if it multiplies this, you get positive 2 into 36x raised to power minus 3 now, because you have minus 2 minus 1. And that's going to give us 72 x raised to power minus 3 and of course this is the same thing as 72 all over x raised to power 3 by indices and of course if you substitute your x as negative 6 this is going to be negative and of course you get a negative value but if you put your x as positive you get a positive value and positive is where you have the minimum so our x that will give us minimum value is x equal to 6 and so now we now substitute it into the sum to now get the minimum sum that we are looking for. Okay, so if we put that there, we are going to have 6 plus 36 over 6. And that's equal to, this is 6, 6 plus 6 is 12. Okay, so this is the minimum sum of two numbers whose product is 36. And of course, you have two numbers, 6 and 6 which gives you that, uh, uh, 12 and then the product is 36. And like I did here, we can also repeat that here to confirm that this is true. So what are the possible numbers that when you will multiply, you will get 36? Let's see if, if this is actually the minimum. So uh, the minimum sum. So we have the following, 4 times 9. So all these 4. Uh, numbers and when you take their product you will get uh, 36 and so which of them gives you the least sum if you sum this you have 13 if you sum this you have 12 the sum of this is 15 and the sum of this is uh, sorry is 20 so you can see that actually that what we have here is the least sum so but the approach of maximum and minimum you know gives you the opportunity to get this value without doing this uh, process so it gives you the accurate value and so that's one of the applications of differential calculus and the applications of maximum and minimum value and that's where we'll end it for this video kindly subscribe to our youtube channel like comment and share our youtube videos we'll see you in our next episode bye